Hey, hi, how are you? It's Stacy. Um, how are you? I am okay. Um, I thought I would just pop on here pretty quickly and just do my wrap up for the month of March and April. That would be this one book. This one book is the one book I finished in those two months. And technically, I didn't finish it until May the 4th because I finished it on Star Wars Day because I just made myself finish the last like couple chapters. I will say that I don't really like what reading reading novelizations of movies because normally they're written after the movie has already come out. There's not much difference. It's not like when a book is written and then a movie is made out of inspired by it or based on it. It's it's not like that. So um, this is basically word for word the movie The Rise of Skywalker and as we all know I wasn't all that thrilled with that movie. Um, it was fine. Um, I have some major issues with the movie mostly pertaining to the use of something that um, the internet calls a MacGuffin which is a item that makes the characters go on a quest. So like the Sith dagger in this movie and even the um, the Wayfinder is also a MacGuffin. I mean they're connected so like really you shouldn't need two but they had two. And the ending. I didn't like the ending. I didn't like the use of Palpatine's back. Um, by the way, there's going to be spoilers for this book. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, I don't know why you'd be watching a review of the book. But, um, yeah. So, I'm, I'm not going to, like, not talk about things in this video. But I'm not going to talk about it very much at all. Because I don't really have much to say. I gave this book three stars. It was fine. The writing was fine. The story was fine. I love Star Wars and I'm just unhappy with how they decided to end a 42 year long saga with this plot. Um, my husband's probably tired of me talking about it. I try not to talk about it with him anymore because he just kind of rolls his eyes. Um, but, oh, this is by Ray Carson. It has a few extended scenes in it that aren't in the movie. Um, I can, I can kind of tell you which ones they are. Um, at the very beginning, they cut a scene of Kylo on Mustafar, which is where he gets the Sith Wayfinder. He talks to this oracle type creature that is protecting it. That scene was cool. I li actually liked all the like extra scenes in this book. Um, I liked the parts in this book where you heard what the people, characters were thinking, and what they were feeling. Um, a little bit more in depth between Leia and Rey and their master apprentice like relationship and how close that they had become in the last year between The Last Jedi and this movie. Excuse me. This movie, um, if you don't know, I went into this movie after a like, year or at least six months or the first trailer of this dropped at Celebration last year, which was in end of April or May. And so from then it was like, what's that, four months? It's the fourth month, so 12, it came out in December, that's eight months. I, in, in that eight months from the trailer to the movie, I read a bunch of comics of the Star Wars, of the Star Wars comics. I read a bunch of those. Um, I read a couple of Poe Dameron stories. I, bought, I read Before the Awakening by Greg Ruka. I, I read Resistance Reborn by um, Rebecca Roanhorse. I read, which is set right 
before this. Rebe uh, the Rebecca Roan Horse book is set right before this. Which I read that and it has the main character is Snap Wexley and in this book at the very end the main character of Resistance Reborn dies and it's like a two paragraph thing that happens and I have to tell you that that scene like made me cry and nobody else like even seemed to care they're like who the hell is Snap Wexley like who cares about that person and I'm like crying because I am emotionally invested in that character because of that book but if you didn't read any of those books or that book um and or any of the books to, like to like lead up to this movie like you wouldn't care about some of the deaths in this in this some of the deaths I mean like the one but um So I feel like I'm punished for reading the supplemental material. You know what I mean? I don't know if anybody knows what I mean, but um, I felt like also I read the Rise of Kylo Ren comics after the movie came out and it portrays Kylo's like fall to the dark side and his life. I haven't even read the Aftermath trilogy, which has got a lot of him as a child in it. Um, but like he's a redeemable character if you read those other things and so like the fact that he ha you know what happens at the end happens to a tortured child or he was a tortured child just it it gives gives me like and these are supposed to be for kids so like it gives people who have identified with Kylo's like story like this really terrible message that you're only redeemable if you die and that's just not true and I don't like that about it things that I did like I'll get back to the, I'll get to that I just another thing I didn't like was the fact that Ray became not Ray nobody like I liked Ray nobody I thought that was totally cool that anybody could be a Star Wars character or anybody could be a, a Jedi or powerful with the force but now you have to be like a Skywalker or a Palpatine. It's like legacy lines or whatever. And it felt cheap. I didn't like Palpatine coming back. I didn't think that he should be the big bad of the end. I get it because like he was the big bad throughout the prequel series and the, se and the original trilogy. Um, so like I get it, but I don't like it. And... The like somehow Palpatine came back, like it's totally lame. I thought a lot of the script for this was lazy writing. Um, I know lots of people disagree with that um, and loved this movie. Um, I don't know how. Um, honestly, like any time you say you didn't like it on the internet, you'll get completely like bullied and harassed. So it's not like something that's safe to talk about unless you're talking with friends that you know aren't going to be like whoa you're stupid for not, not liking it but this book um for how long the movie is it's like two hours and 20 minutes long or something like that this book is short for how long the movie is it is of story it's 247 pages and it's pretty big type pretty big spaces you know in this page this book has some pictures in it you know so like a couple pages of pictures um there's not a lot of detail it's it's fine it's a novelization of a star wars movie um i was it's she's a fine writer i gave it three stars three stars isn't bad it's not like amazing or anything like that it took me two months to fucking read it excuse my language but i couldn't read anything else because of multiple reasons like I really didn't care all that much because I you know I didn't like the movie but so I read the book it had some good parts I wish I didn't care deeply about Star Wars like I just liked it for the laser swords and the you know blasters and the starships then I would be perfectly happy with how it ended probably but I put into so much, put in so much energy into 
reading about Star Wars in the last like year that the fact that I didn't like it was so disappointing to me. And so I thought maybe if I read the book that I would feel differently about the book because there's like more to it. And yes, there are extra scenes. Um, but there's not much more explanation for things. Um, it's still pretty much somehow Palpatine returned. I think they explain the whole cloning thing in about five sentences. Um, it's not deep, it's shallow. So that's what I did for the last two months. I read The Rise of Skywalker and I've just been kind of existing because that's the best I can do right now because all my kids are at home. We're doing distance learning. We're working from home because these are trying times and we're trying to stay safe. I haven't seen my mom in person and like other than like dropping things off at her house without like getting within six feet of her in like two months. And um, I usually get one day a week where I can just kind of do what I want to do. Like my kids go either to school or they go to Nana's house um, and they haven't been able to do that. So just kind of like stuck, which is fine. Like I love my kids and I really don't have that big of a problem with them staying home. Like I'm totally fine getting them to do their homework fine making them food getting the groceries delivered and whatever we're totally lucky that we can do that um but man i wish i could like concentrate on reading and love reading as much as i used to when i was like well growing up or before i had kids or even like during having kids or whatever I, i've been able to read more than one book in two months before even with for, even with having three kids so um, I don't know, that's my review for The Rise of Skywalker and my wrap up for the last two months. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Um, either way, it helps me. So um, I appreciate all of you. If you stuck around this long, um, if you have opposite opinions than me or the same opinions as me about The Rise of Skywalker, Sky of the rise of skywalker let me know in the comment section below um i feel like it still made a billion dollars um revenue right so like it's not like it did badly it did fine i just also feel like it could have done better if it hadn't been as not hopeful at the end you know as it was as, than it was it could have been way better. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm, I was hoping to finish this and like film this on the May the 4th um, for Star Wars Day and get it up, but I didn't. Um, so this is as best as I can do on Revenge of the Sith. Nope. Revenge of... Tomorrow would make way more sense. Revenge of the Sixth. Because it sounds like Sith. Sith. Uh, is that something? Or is it Revenge of the Fifth? Like, I don't know. I, I've heard it both ways, so. Beats me. So the next book I'm going to probably finish reading is Come Tumbling Down, and I have a couple of self-published books that I picked up last year at Net Galaxy Con that I was hoping to finish. So if I don't finish those, um, I hope I'll pick something else up that I like more than three stars. That would be fantastic. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and stay wonderful and may the force be with you. Goodbye.